Yeah, it's definitely all about Greenwich, about the Olympics. I think as a team we're very, very ambitious this year. We want to win the gold medal. Um, and individually I definitely want to medal again. I think anything can happen, but I know that on an ideal day for Al for me that we are, are very, very capable of, of going all the way. So um, that is the, the aim uh, sort of in the in the back of, of the mind, but um, at the same time, sort of on a daily basis, my mind's certainly more focused on, on training and, and making sure that Alf and I are in, in the best pace, place possible when we get to Greenwich and um, that we keep pushing ourselves and keep trying to make every little bit that we can a little bit better. I've just done one competition in March. I've got uh, two more definite internationals with Alf, one in um, April, one in June. Um, and then obviously end of July it's already off to Greenwich anyway so um, it's really about the six weeks, six week gaps in between the big competitions using the competition to see where we're at, train little extra things, um, you know, try and get some really good results, um, show consistency um, and then in between the competitions let Alf have a bit of a downtime again and then bring him up and peak at the right time again but um, it's just about keeping Alf fit and supple motivated and, and, and sound as he's 17 he's in, in, in great on great form um, um, and I'm going to draw a lot of confidence from the fact that Alf and I have been in the ring so many times together um, we've been to like quite a lot of championships together now and we've proved to ourselves and I've proved to myself that I can do it under pressure and, and do it um, when it counts and I think those are all things that, um, that give me confidence and really I'm just I'm excited about the opportunities that we've got as a team this year and, and obviously individually as well. Um, I think Greenwich is going to be an awesome menu. It's so compact, it's going to be really good for spectators. I think it's going to be an amazing opportunity for equestrian sports as a whole. Um, you know, getting, being part of the, the centre of the Olympics rather than stuck out in a different city somewhere um, is, is huge for us as a, as a sport in t as a whole. Um, you know, hopefully we'll convert lots of people to um, equestrianism and I think um, for dressage it's going to be an awesome stadium. I mean, the backdrop um, alone creates so much atmosphere. I think um, no, I think they've, they've done a really good job with with the decisions they've made and with the way it's going to look. So um, be exciting. <laughs> he gets work most six days a week in the mornings. I, I train him, um, and then in the afternoons he either goes on a water treadmill or he gets lunched over Cavaletti sometimes. Um, in the winter he does more of that and in the summer he does mainly hacking. I take him trot and cantering around the sand track, sometimes I just walk him. So I mix it up and I do do, um, once the weather's better and the ground's good, I do do a bit more work out in the fields and on the, on the sand track rather than always working him in the school. Um, he gets massaged um, regularly, um, he gets uh, his back treated on a fairly regular basis just to make sure there's nothing out, especially after journeys and things like that. Um, you know, so many details to keeping a, a top horse really in, in prime condition from working with Albion. They come regularly to check the saddle and make sure that it's fitting. And, and generally we've got a pretty good team sort of with the world class guys who sort of um, from farrier to physio to all of that sort of thing to, to help keep Alf and myself on, yeah. um, on, on good form. Um, so yeah, touch wood, it's, it's all it's all part of a routine that's already in place, so it doesn't feel like anything massive has to change this year, really. It's just about um, doing our thing and, 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 and um, hopefully seizing the moment um, when we get to Greenwich. <laughs> uh, Al's been in, in most of the medal prize givings, because at Championship you usually have to, but... Um, uh, so, yeah, he was in the prize giving in Windsor and Kentucky, he did all of, all of the prize givings, but generally at normal internationals I spare him the, uh, the angst. Um, although there's always the odd international where I end up having to take him in, in again. So meanwhile, he's, he's not too bad. Generally, I just try and avoid it because obviously it's a lot of extra strain and stress on the muscles and ligaments and things of a horse that you're trying to save for a specific event. You know, you think, why, why, why do it when you don't have to? Some horses love it, some horses yeah. don't. But, um, so I don't think you can make predictions about it. The Olympics is one of those... I mean, horses is bad enough, but Olympics and horses, I think, there's, um, you know, so many things, so many things can happen. But... Um, I definitely think you know the British team are in the best situation, the best chance we've ever had, the best situation we've ever been in. So, um, you know, touch wood, fingers crossed, we will be able to make the most of it.